Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Let's get straight into it. Now I just picked up a packet of mint. This cost me around about 70 pence. All you want to do is strip the bottom leaves on the stalk and then place it into a jar of water. Make sure you don't have any leaves submerged. Once you've finished, pop your jar onto a windowsill that gets indirect sunlight. Remember to change the water every couple of days or so. After seven days, you'll start to see some roots appear and then by 10 to 14 days, they'll look like this. Now I'm ready to plant these cuttings. I filled up a cell tray with some moist compost then made a hole in each cell. Gently place your cutting into the hole and then backfill. Once your cutting is secure, if you've got any large leaves, grab some scissors and cut them in half. Then just continue this process until your cell tray is full. From two packets, I managed to fill this cell tray and I also have some spare. Mint is a natural aphid repellent, so I'm gonna place these all around the cloud garden. These mint plants I'll be leaving to flower around the garden. From the leftover mint, I'm going to make a big mint bush that's going to be in my indoor herb garden. So grab yourself a pot with some moist compost and then with your finger or a spoon or a pen, make some holes in the pot and then place your cuttings inside. In a pot this size, you should be aiming for three or four cuttings. However, I'm trying to make a really big bush, so I've got five in here. A week on from potting this up, you can already see some really nice luscious growth here. But I'm not happy with this. I want this mint plant to be even bushier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prune it back and let it branch off and get absolutely massive. If you'd like to see that, give this video a like, then I'll post an update when I do the pruning. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye!